All right, what's up guys? Haven't been live in a car chat for a minute and this was just on my mind today. I came up on a client call in regards to behavior change. So on social media, you constantly see that if you want to integrate a new habit, you know, you want to get in shape or you want to eat healthier or you want to start a new business or like any sort of goal you have, you just got to force yourself. You got to be disciplined and you got, even when you don't feel like doing it, you got to do it. And yeah, like some of that energy, sure. But this is the aspect of behavior change that can cause it to be so much easier when you understand how your subconscious stories are impacting your automatic behaviors. Okay, and it's really simple. It's this. The more positive associations you have going on in your unconscious, subconscious mind about anything, if you have positive stories, positive associations, all these good things that are going to happen during that experience, at, right after that experience, long term from that experience, you will just be all over that because you're like, I'm getting so many wins out of it. I love doing it and I'm going to feel good after and I'm going to all these hopes and dreams are going to come true because of it. And you're just go time. And when you have negative associations associated with something, these stories, they're underlying. It's not like in the moment when you think about doing it and you're like, oh man, I just don't feel like working out today. There's so much more to it <laughs> than just you don't feel like it in that moment. It's you have all these stories. So I'm going to use working out as an example because, you know, that's what we do here on the Coach Tara <laughs> channel. <laughs> okay, so working out. Very classic thing that people try to get into a habit of and don't. So we'll use this as an example, but you can apply this to any other thing that you're saying you want to integrate into your life and you just keep avoiding it or you keep starting and stopping and you're, you know, just kind of got it at arm's length. Same things apply. So if I think of working out, <clears throat> this is what I was working on with the client today. She's avoiding, right? So I was like, okay, tell me the stories that you have about it. She's like, it's going to be hard. I'm going to be so sore after, um, like I, it's going to take so much energy, uh, you know, and she has all these negative associations associated with it. Right. But she has really nailed her morning routine. So I was, we do meditation and you know, I have her on sunlight. It's part of her thing. I've got her doing it and she's nailing it. She's doing a breath work, a little breath work, some box breathing meditation and sunlight in the morning. And I'm like, so what are your stories? What are your unconscious stories about those things? And she's like, I'm going to feel great. I like how I feel when I start my day like that. I'm so much more calm and centered and grounded. I feel good about myself. I feel like I'm just like on top of my game. So do you see why she's just doing it? She's like, I haven't missed. I'm doing, I'm doing awesome on that because all of her associations, her unconscious subconscious stories are win, 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 win. The experience is going to be positive. The results are going to be positive, both long-term and immediately after. So that is it. So on the things that you're avoiding, that you're saying you want to like get this habit involved in your life, sit for a second and think like, what are my stories about that thing? So maybe it's a professional endeavor. It's like, what if it sucks? What if it doesn't go well? What if it's not good enough? What if people don't like it? What if I'm inadequate? You know, and we get all these well, if those are your unconscious stories running the show, of course you're going to avoid that thing, right? And so this is why, like, some of you know I'm writing another book right now, and this is, like, my big book. This is, like, like my first book was kind of, you know, my practice run. <laughs> this is, like, my big book, you know, and it is a lot. I'm being extremely vulnerable in this book. It has to do with my own life story, and there's a lot of mindset lessons and health lessons, and just the whole freaking transformation is in there, right? And there's, like, I'm not holding back on this, right? So there's some a vulnerability components, you know, there's, it, it's, it's a lot of work. Um, and I have been working on it consistently. And one thing that I do that I have found to be very helpful is I do a short visualization before I get started. So as part of my morning routine, I do a just one minute, one minute visualization. I just ask myself, like, what is the most important goal I'm working on today? This is part of my like more advanced thing and higher. They do this too. Like when they're kind of further along, what is the most important goal I'm working on today? And what it visualized for one minute, the most optimal uh, outcome of that goal achieved. So right before I sit down to write, I'm sitting there like 
visualizing some like older lady on a plane, like reading it and her eyebrows are kind of furrowed and she's like, wow, like she's seeing herself in it and she's, you know, feeling motivated and to, to, to apply some of the different tools in her life. And I'm, I'm at a conference and I see some woman and she comes and tells me she read it and that it like helped her change her life in some way. And I'm like, these are all the, so I'm like, those are my subconscious associations that this book is really going to help people. It's going to be impacting. It's going to be bring so much beauty into my life. So because those are my subconscious stories about it, it gets me excited to get into action. So that's another thing that you could try, but really in, in short essence, like just, just to sum this all up, if you are avoiding something or you keep start stopping and all of that, just examine what your stories are the unconscious stories running the show and just see if they are negative or positive. And if you can find ways to shift them, that's what I worked on with that client today. She's like, well, actually I am really good at endurance and I do really love how I feel like right when I get done, I have a major mood boost. And like, so we just started, I'm like, okay, so that's going to be the work this week is like, just, I was like, write all of those down. When you do your morning routine, read those out loud right? So we can start building positive associations. I'm like, don't be wrecking yourself, girl. Don't be pushing yourself into the freaking ground. So then you build some negative association. That's a classic thing people do when they're trying to get into a training or any sort of exercise regimen is they're like, I'm going to make up for the last 10 years in this one workout, you know, <laughs> don't be doing that. Cause then you're going to develop a negative association with it because you're going to be super sore for like three days. Don't do that. Ease into it, right? Get yourself some good music. Get yourself some clothes you like. Get yourself an environment you like. Get yourself a pre-workout that you like. Like anything you can do to be like win, 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 positive associations, you will be doing that thing. So, so much of like consistency. I don't know. It's like for some reason on social media, we've like this, this culture has developed of like boasting about forcing ourselves to do things we hate doing. Like what the fuck? No, that is not, that's not, that's no way to live. Like the ideal situation. Yes. Sometimes we have to push through some uncomfortable barriers. Sure. But on the most part, the reason people are consistent with things is because they want to be doing them. They have some sort of win associated with that thing. That is why they're doing it. So when you see these bodybuilders and stuff being like, I, I just, for, I, you know, like no excuses. I just force myself to do this. I'm like, bullshit. You want to do it. I see you guys in the gyms. You effing love it. You got your little stringer shirt and your pre-workout and your cool gym bag. And you're in there at like 630 on a Sunday morning. And there you're in there because you want to be in there. Period. Because they have all these subconscious wins associated with that thing. Whatever that is for you, doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever your reasons are, as long as they are positive, you perceive that you're going to get a lot of wins out of anything that you endeavor in doing. You're going to do it like crazy. This is why people are super consistent with their morning cup of coffee, you know? So... Anyway, I just thought I'd pass that along in case that's helpful to anybody who hears this. Thank you guys for tuning in. I realize it's probably kind of late on the mainland right now, but yeah. All right. Thanks. Those of you guys who are here. I don't think anybody timed in because I was just like ranting, but um, okay. I'll close it up. All right. Bye guys. <laughs>